What's happening everyone? I am Sir James coming to you guys with another video and for this video I'm here to provide you guys with a channel update. I got all kinds of stuff to tell you guys. Some good news, some early copies, upcoming game coverages, all the typical fun stuff that you guys could find here on my channel. So the first thing I'm going to go ahead and go over is my new year resolution goal which is try to reach 10,000 subscribers by the end of 2014. Now the reason why I'm bringing this up once again is because I was issued a challenge by Steeltron who is a staff member within Gamer Fusion which is the partnership program I'm currently with and his challenge was to try to reach 10k by the end of November or sooner. Right now I'm currently standing at 8,720 last I checked, so do I think that we could reach 10k by the end of November? I think so. I think we have a good chance because I got all kinds of game coverages coming out which I'm pretty sure will get a lot of attention and I'm pretty sure that you guys will like as well. But pretty much, like I said, our new goal now is to try to reach 10k by the end of November. If not, if we get pretty close then you know at least we gave it a shot. So next up, I want to go ahead and go over an early copy of a game that I got, which is for the PlayStation Vita. It's a Vita exclusive, and I'm pretty sure most Vita owners already know or have heard about the game. If you haven't, then you should definitely check it out. But the game is called Freedom Wars. It comes out on the 28th of October, and I got one week early access to the game. I'm currently downloading it on my PlayStation Vita, and just to prove to you guys that I'm not, you know, BSing here, just to try to get views. I really do have it. Uh, it's right here. Hold on. Let me see that. Freedom Wars is currently downloading on my Vita. Heck yeah. And I was actually surprised too because um, it looks like it's going to be a real big hit for the Vita and the visuals look just outstanding for it. Um, but the game is only 1,400 and 71 megabytes as a digital download so that seems pretty small so I'm kind of I'm a little bit concerned but based on what I've heard for people who have gotten a chance to play it a bit early or at a convention I've heard really good positive things about it so like I said I am going to be providing you guys a walkthrough and review for it hopefully I can get the walkthrough completed by the release date um, but I'll keep you guys posted on that. If I happen to get any permission to upload any early gameplay, then I will. But right now, don't ask for any early gameplay unless if I hear from the developers themselves or publishers, whoever is the main person in charge. Um, anyways, to continue on, uh, another game that I'm going to be receiving is Just Dance 2015 that did come out this week alongside... Uh, Fantasia, both of which are for the Kinect and both of which are also for the Xbox 360 and for Just Dance, that one's I think available also on Play yeah, PlayStation as well. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to be getting Just Dance 2015 from Gamer Fusion that should come out uh, hopefully by the end of this week. I mean, I should have it by the end of this week. And I'm pretty much going to do the same thing like I did last year where I dressed up in a few different costumes. I set up my webcam so you guys could watch me make a fool of myself and attempt to dance because I don't have any dancing skills whatsoever. No, honestly, I really don't. And, um, you know, just have fun with the game. The reason why I dress up in a few different costumes is because the game comes out in October. October is Halloween time. So I got a pirate outfit to dance in. I got a warrior outfit to dance in. Except I don't have the chainmail shirt that I was looking for, unfortunately. Uh, what else? I got some... Uh, probably some other outfits I could probably put together. I got my certified referee jersey, a real referee outfit because I do ref for AYSO. I do that as kind of a side thing to help the kids out over the weekends and allows me to go out and get some exercise too over the weekend besides riding my bike. Uh, but anyways, like I said, I'm going to have videos for that. Uh, the other one is um, Samurai Warriors 4. I did also receive that from Gamer Fusion as a digital download. I'm going to have some videos up probably a little bit later today, at least the first four parts. And the game is divided into different sections for the different factions within the game. And so far it looks like each faction that you choose depending on which character you want to play as. It looks like they have a short story of about four to five chapters each. So um, I should have that completed by this weekend and a review either by this weekend or next week Monday or Tuesday at the latest. And the other one is Disney's Fantasia Music Involved. Now, my channel started all things to Kinect. It may be hard to believe, but I covered a lot of Kinect games for the Xbox 360. If you look on my main channel, my most popular video that is, 
Can you guess what video it is? I'm pretty sure most of you are already checking right now. But my most popular video is Power Rangers Super Samurai on the 360 Connect. How popular? Well, I think I have one or two videos over a million views, and I think one of them is getting close to two million views. That's a lot for a video. I've never, I don't have any other video close to that amount. So, anyways. I'm coming back as the Kinect guy for Gamer Fusion. Since I got the Xbox One late, sadly I did miss a chance to cover and review a couple Kinect titles, which was the uh, Kinect Sports, and the other one I believe was Fighter Within, which I got with my console courtesy of Gamer Fusion and EXP. But this one right here, this game right here, Fantasia, Disney's Fantasia Musing Evolved, is probably one of the best Kinect games I have ever played, and I had so much fun with this title. Now, before some of you go, oh, you're just saying that because you're paid to say that, blah, blah, blah. I kid you not, all right? I give honest reviews and honest opinions. This is by far probably my top favorite Connect game that I've ever played. So my recommendation is if you have the Xbox One, like the thing is, I don't know how well the game performs with the 360's Connect because I know there's usually some issues with uh, certain motion captures. So I don't know how uh, well it did for the 360. But if you have the Xbox One, if you uh, if you like rhythm games, if you usually have parties where you have like a game in the background, or you want to find a game to incorporate people within your party, kind of like a two-player thing, or like games like Just Dance that usually people get. This is definitely a game to get, or you could also wait for Black Friday to see if you can get this for a good discount. I do have the entire story mode uploaded, which is about 17 videos. I could have made it into 18 videos, but uh, I just let the other one go, pretty much slide in. No, not let it go, the song that I already uploaded, but uh, you know, just let it slide in instead of just making two separate videos and one of them being short. Uh, but yeah, uh, if you're kind of curious about the game, highly recommend it. So far on the Xbox One, like I said, I don't have the 360. I don't know how the Kinect uh, works out with that one. If it captures the motion good as the newer model. So that's kind of something you want to be wary about. And uh, what else? And I think that was pretty much it. So let's go ahead and just do a quick recap. Um, Freedom Wars for the PlayStation Vita. I have videos out coming on October 28th. Unless if I get permission to upload early, that is. Uh, the other one, Samurai Warriors 4. For the PS4. Uh, I don't have the Vita copy, just the PS4 one. The other one is Just Dance 2015. I do have the full game completed in terms of the story mode. I was getting requests to participate, or in this case, to explore the other worlds, because basically, once you beat the game, uh, you have options to explore other worlds within the game and to unlock more additional songs, because there's like 30. 30 something songs and more than 30 songs I should say so yeah a lot of stuff to cover I will do that as well it's right now it's not a priority but on the off chance if I'm taking a break or just want to listen to some music then I'll definitely get some videos out for you guys for those of you who are requesting but other than that that's pretty much the update I wanted to get you guys so hopefully we can reach 10k by the end of November um, as for next month um, possibly that I'll be doing uh, Call of Duty Advanced Warfare and the other one, which I already know is a for sure thing already, which is Assassin's Creed Unity. Super excited for it, and I will be doing a collectible guide for the game just like I did for the other Assassin's Creed games. So definitely be on the lookout. And of course, let us not forget Dragon Age Inquisition. Super excited. So many games to come out. So little time. Too bad I just can't clone myself so I can play everything at once. Oops, hit the mic. But once again, if you guys have any questions, leave that in the comment section down below. And I'll see you guys later on with some Samurai Warriors 4 videos. And of course, I will continue to do some Destiny coverage uh, when there's some new content to do or when I do raids and stuff like that. But until then, I'll see you guys later.